Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Witches, Bats, and Paper Crafts video. Today I have a really simple treat box for you. This is my simple Halloween treat box. I'm calling it that because it is a very easy one to make. There's just this one simple layer that cuts out all of these different designs. And there's these little flaps here at the top that open up the box. Like I said, it's really simple to put together. It only takes two pieces of cardstock. The machine does all the rest. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's go ahead and grab our materials and get started. Step one, get the SVG cut file. This project is part of Witches, Bats, and Paper Crafts 2024. If you're watching this during the event, head to the event page and find the download there. If you're watching this through the VIP access pass, you can find the download button below this video. If you're watching this video after the event has finished up, you can head to my shop to purchase the individual cut file at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com or if you're interested in the VIP access pass, you can find out more information at thebeardedhousewife.com slash WBPC2024. I have links in the description box for you to check them out. No matter how you download the cut file, make sure you download the cut file to your computer, unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step two, upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and click Open, Continue, and Upload. Step three, convert score lines and any text. Now that our project has been brought into our canvas, let's ungroup the design. We have some converting to do to some of the score lines, so let's find the treat box, click on that icon to drop down the layers, highlight this top layer, come up to the operation menu and change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. Now that that's all set, go ahead and click make. And you can see the different mats for this project. Click continue. I'll be using a variety of medium weight cardstock for this project. I'll go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble. Step four, cut out the design. Step five, assemble your project. Okay, so I have everything all cut out, so it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fold all of the different score lines. So if you take a look, there are the angled score lines here on the top of each section. You're gonna fold those as valley folds. Now you're going to fold the score lines on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to flip it over and then fold them this way. And now I'm going to fold all of these folds here in the middle. I'm just gonna keep folding them as mountain folds.
Okay, so I have our treat box all folded together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. Try to fold it nice and flat. Uh, now I'm going to attach all of the black squares to the midsections and then the triangles to these top sections. and there is all of our different panels all put together. Now with the front facing down, you're gonna to want to bring the two sides together, feed that tab through the slit on the other side, fold the box flat. I'm gonna add some glue to this tab here and fold that section over. And now I'm folding it back. I'm going to add glue again to that underside and fold it and press. So you're going to add glue, fold once, fold the treat box back, add glue, and fold again. See, it's a double flap. Just like so. To close out the bottom, you're gonna fold this side here that has these little legs inward. Then bring these two sides in and then that top section tucks underneath the first part. I'll show that to you again. So you have this section right here with the little legs. Fold that in. Then fold the sides in. And then tuck the tab underneath. And now you can just tuck all of these sections together. Just like so. Now you have two different options. You can use the little slits on each side and run some ribbon all the way through. That'd be really cute and really simple. Or you can just glue the tabs together. It's totally up to you. And our simple treat box is all set. How easy was this treat box? It's so much fun to make because you can totally mass produce these. You can add some ribbon through those little slits that are created and you can really embellish this box or glue the flaps together to keep that candy really secure. I love this design, it's so versatile. I hope that you like it. If you make this project, I hope that you share it with me. Whether that be through email or through our Facebook group, I would love to see your creations. That's gonna do it for me, I'm Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Witches, Bats, and Paper Crafts video. Bye-bye.